Tell a friend to tell a friend. She's back. Hi guys, my name is Emma. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi again. Oh, it's so good to be back. It's been a minute. I finally finished my thesis for my graduate studies. I'm just waiting to be awarded the degree. I'm very excited. Um, now we're just job hunting. <laughs> Soul sucking activity, but that's okay. That's okay. It's nonprofit work. It is extremely important work and I'm excited for it. But we will continue on this journey of filming. I'm going to just, you know, film when I can, edit when I can, try to aim for uploading once a week. Um, that might change once I do finally get a full-time job, but we'll see. We're just going to play it by ear. We're going to keep it super casual like today's video. Um, so I thought I would just do my makeup while you guys get to know me because I've never done like a get to know me video. And I wanted to do something a little more than like having my makeup done and just sitting here talking at the camera So what I did, I don't know if anyone's done it in this format before if they have please let me know I would love to give them credit is I came up with four categories of questions Which are favorites this or that who is she and deep slash juicy? Well, it's more like in-depth like such as is just a get to know me video I didn't want to do like juicy like tea type questions or like super deep soul searching questions But just like stuff that I can elaborate on a little bit more kind of deep ish more like just kind of in depth But you'll see when we get there So what I'm gonna do is I have a random numberator generator pulled up which is literally just on Google <laughs> from one to four as you can see it says six right now from when I just pulled it up um, and I'm gonna generate a category again number one through four <laughs> got out of film and whatever number it lands on that is the category we will do like one is favorites two is this or that three is who is she and four is in depth slash juicy and then um, once I have ten questions in each of those categories and I'm going to roll once I pick the category or randomly generate it, I guess. I am going to roll a dice. This is one of my partners, a D&D &D die on top of this book, A Year of Us. It's a cute little question a day for couples that we've been doing, it's very cute. And whatever number that lands on can be like, like if it lands on one, obviously it'll pick the first question or if it lands on 11, first question. It'll make more sense when we get in there. <laughs> Put a lot of layers in, cause I want to do something a little bit different but nothing too crazy, so again, let me know if anyone has done this before. And I'm gonna do this for every step of my makeup. So, why don't we just go ahead and get into it. Oh, she looks like, she looks berries and cream. So the products I have here are stuff I just haven't used very often, basic kind of neutral things, stuff I wanna see how they work together. For my first step is primer. I am going to use the NYX Marshmallow Primer, rather. And before, I'm gonna get the question going before I um, apply that so I can answer the question while I apply. Three, who is she? And I'm going to roll the die. This is my list of questions. I'm gonna put it on the ground so it doesn't fly everywhere. Just, just, or on my lap, I mean, so the dice doesn't land on the ground. Just trust I'm rolling it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Seven, biggest fear. Oh my. <laughs> Um, well, in college, I had a little bit of an existential crisis. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna go too much into it because we're just not, it's a, it's just a story. It's a longer story for another day with some, maybe not so YouTube friendly details. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I had a bit of an existential crisis that lasted for a solid six months that gave me a lot of like kind of fears of death which I mean like I understand a lot of people have a fear of death a fear of the unknown but for me it just kind of got a little bit out of hand and now to this day I still like get very anxious when I think about like growing old not that I'm afraid of like growing old per se like in and of itself in terms of like aging and like wrinkles and um great hair and all of that um, because it's a privilege to get old. A lot of people, majority of people don't have that privilege. I think majority, I don't know what that percentage is, talking like I do. So I never want to take that for granted, but it also means getting closer to passing. <laughs> kind of deep, but that's probably my biggest fear. But a couple other ones, um, I used to be afraid of clowns. Not so much anymore, but I really don't 
did not like clowns. I'm very claustrophobic. I hate elevators so much. <laughs> kind of an irrational fear of being buried alive. That's terrifying. So, I want to create first question. Anyway, for foundation, I'm going to use the Makeup by Mario foundation. This is definitely a favorite. I kind of mostly want to use it to see how it plays with the NYX um, marshmallow one because I have a couple. Like I like the NYX marshmallow primer um, as like a good standard kind of everything primer, but I have a couple of foundations like my Rare Beauty foundation that does not like it. <laughs> they do not jive, so I'm going to see how these two jive. Um, so this is the shade, by the way, 2N. If you don't know, the full name is the Surreal Skin Foundation. And I'm just going to use this BH Cosmetics Kabuki brush. And again, before I get that going, we are going to do the random number generator. Category is one. Roll the dice. I might need a bigger book. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bigger book. Give me a hot second. I'm actually gonna be using this tray that I got from Michaels. It's part of their like, what is it? It's like their pastel Halloween collection. So I'm actually gonna use this to roll the dice. Three. All right, favorites, three. Favorite movie genre. My favorite movie genre is horror. Um, a lot of my, not my number one favorite movie. That's um, a question. We'll see if we get to it. See if I roll it. <laughs> um, is not a horror movie, but a lot of my favorite movies are horror movies. I'm always on the hunt for that like one good horror movie because I feel like horror and comedy are the two like genres that are extremely hit and miss. Like any movie's hit and miss, but like with comedy and horror, you have to, there you're going for an extremely, extremely specific reaction. You're going for like, they have to laugh, they have to get scared or jump or whatever for it to be a success where like, yeah, like some drama movies or melodramas, you want like your audience to cry, but they can still be like, oh, I really felt something and not cry, where I feel like getting scared or laughing is a much more visceral reaction to something. Um, so I've been through a lot of crap horror <laughs> movies, but some of my favorites are, I really like The Conjuring Universe. Um, Conjuring 1 and, 1 and 2 are my favorites. I wanted more from The Nun. I did not like The Nun movie. Um, she's my favorite horror movie villain though. I like the simplistic justification of a demon nun. Um, Annabelle is good, kind of. It's a good movie, nothing spectacular. Annabelle creation was very predictable. Annabelle comes home, I kind of have on the same level as Annabelle where it's like, it's a good movie, not my favorite, but it's good. And then I need to see The Conjuring 3 a few more times. The devil made me do it before I can fully form an opinion. And also, as I'm saying all of this, this is a YouTube channel that supports movie Ed and Lorraine Warren. And the real life Ed and Lorraine Warren can rot. We don't, we don't stand. Predatory liars. No, thank you. You can rot. Movie Ed and Lorraine Warren. Movie Ed and Lorraine Warren, however. Love them to pieces. I also like the Scream franchise. Scream 1 is my favorite, obviously. <laughs> Love those. Oh, Deliver Us From Evil, that's a good, I'm just gonna put a little bit more on the couple of blemishes. That is a good one. Um, I used to love the movie Fragile, but now I can't find it anywhere, so it might have been a fever dream, I don't know. <laughs> World War Z is a comfort movie. I don't know why, but it's become a comfort movie. By the nature of the genre, I can do some gore, obviously, but like, I can't do Saw, I can't do, I think it was called The Collector, that started out really bloody. Um, some, like, if it's, like, gore-centric or, like, torture, um, stuff, then I can't do it. I much prefer, like, supernatural, um, lore-type stuff, which I know is not in style. Not the supernatural part, but, like, lore is not, like, popular right now. So I am the odd man out when it comes to a lot of things. Like, I know I wanted lore on the monster from, uh, from It Follows. I literally... It, this is kind of messed up. <laughs> I took a very short horror movie class in January at my undergrad college and I we watched It Follows and I asked my professor in the class, he's like, well, what'd you think? And I was like, I thought it was a great film. I wish I knew more about where the monster came from, like the lore behind it. And then he turned to the rest of the class and went, yeah, but like no one cares about that anymore. And they all laughed at me, which I don't think is how you foster. <laughs> Good class discussions, personally. God, 
Whatever, I'm not bitter. I think they're playing nice together, the foundation and the primer. I think they like each other just fine. So yes, horror is my favorite movie genre because I'm a nerd and like lore. <laughs> I might keep this out for concealer. Um, for concealer, I'm going to use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in the shade Fair 15W. Is that even, can you even see that? There we go. Just cause this is not gonna be on long, I'm filming this at night so that the lighting doesn't fade too much. So I didn't really want to use like a full coverage concealer. Though I did use my Makeup by Mario foundation. But that was an experiment, that was an experiment. Oh, before we do that, let us roll four. That's 20, right? Yeah, that's 20. 10 from Deep and Juicy. What gives you hope? What gives me hope? Nonprofit organizations give me hope, although that in that line of work, I'm gonna be seeing a lot of a lot of pain, a lot of unfairness, and all that good stuff. So I might be losing a little bit of hope, but it gives me hope that there's people out there trying to do good. When I watch people I love in adversity, um, and I watch them kick its ass. <laughs> And they, you know, obviously they really struggle and it hurts me to see them struggle, but when I see them come out the other side of whatever it is, or that they're pushing through as hard as they possibly can, that gives me hope, because I see people I love doing their best and doing what they can and pushing on. It makes me feel like I can do it. Not that I'd ever judge anyone I love for having a breakdown over their circumstances, because like, you know, shit sucks. Like, you know, you, you're just like, I wouldn't blame you if you just like had a massive, massive breakdown and everything. And then like, you know, they do a little bit and then they just carry on, pick up, move through the situation or do what they can to help themselves. And I think that's pretty incredible. The fact, this is kind of weird, but um, there's been research done and I won't go too in, deep, in depth into it because it's kind of like, it's just through documentaries. Animals, like any animal I've seen will just take a baby. <laughs> Like, not take a baby. <laughs> if like you give a cat, like that just had a litter or whatever, and you give it a stray kitten that's not necessarily part of their litter, but it's still pretty young, they will just, hello. They will just um, take it in and they'll be like, I guess this is my baby now. And then there's a bunch of other animals that have shown behavior of doing that, like crocodiles and wild dogs <laughs> and stuff like that. And I think that's really cool. And that gives me a lot of hope. These creatures out there, like, it will just take something in, no questions asked, and that's really sweet. And although I know a lot of species, their father or mother will just eat them. A little less hope, but you know. <laughs> Can you do? Nature's nature. She'd be scary, she'd be fierce. All right, I think that blended well. It doesn't have like a ton of coverage, but it makes your, it, you know. It's good, it's good to throw on the Tarler Pop Pretty Fresh Concealer. It's nice to throw on and have it blend really easily. Um, for cream bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade Light. Hello? Did it just break? I don't have time to mess with this, so we will not be using this. Um, I'm just gonna see if I can fix that later. It's an expensive product for it to not do what I want it to. Um, instead, we are just going to, you know what? I guess we're just not gonna use cream anything. I don't have a cream blush in here. We're just gonna powder. Um, ooh, I forgot a powder puff, hold on. And I'm just gonna grab a powder bronzer here in a second because I don't have anything else cream and I just don't feel like digging because as we know, I have a crappy battery. I'm going to be using the Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter Press or Setting Powder, sorry, and Translucent and just a powder puff from Amazon to apply that. Category two, this or that. 19, so nine. Explore, <laughs> put this question on knowing that I was gonna hate it. Okay, just let me shut my eyes and then I will answer that question, which in case y'all are wondering, is would you rather explore or explore the deep sea or space? So what I failed to mention in my what am I afraid of question was that I have anxiety <laughs> and I am afraid of a lot of things. Many, 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 many things. Flying, driving, clowns, death, just a lot of things, many things. One of those is the deep ocean that freaks me out. <laughs> Um, and while space isn't 
so much as like an active fear of mine. The con, the idea of someone like in movies being sent just into deep space and never coming back because that's just how space works as a vacuum is horrifying. <laughs> Absolutely and completely horrifying. So I picked this because I saw it on like some this or that questions, ask your friends or whatever website. And I was like, that's perfect. Um, I will have to go. Also, the idea of being underwater is horrifying to me because I am claustrophobic along with being on a space station. <laughs> I think deep ocean because space is just very light. I mean, there's a lot of ways and a lot of things can go wrong on, in space and in the ocean where it's just like, well, make your peace. <laughs> But I feel like I just, for some reason, I don't know why, I can't give you a reason for this, but I feel, for whatever reason, I feel like I have more control underwater. Like the odds are just a little bit better if something goes wrong. Wait, I, I, are they? I don't know. Someone, someone could comment and be like, actually, the other one's safer. I we genuinely don't know. The idea of space is less scary because if that's just not in my face so much as the ocean is, but then at the same time, I think getting lost in space would be a lot worse. Our tank. So I guess the ocean. Uh, you could t honestly, you could tell me Cthulhu was actually in the ocean. He was a real person, and I would believe you. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face with the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Pressed Powder in 110 Creamy Neutral. Generator, ah, three, okay. Who is she? One, big three astrological sign. Okay, that's good. This is a good one for this because this is pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot of explanation there. I am a Libra sun, a Scorpio rising, and a Pisces moon. I've always liked my big three. I know like Scorpio and Pisces might be a little bit controversial <laughs> since I know those are one of like, I think four zodiac signs. Stuck the brush in my mouth. That get a lot of hate on the internet. <laughs> I think it's interesting combined with my Libra sun. But that's it, I don't really have much else to say about that. That just is. Um, in, in case anyone is curious, um, let me pull up CoStar. I know we don't like CoStar. A lot of people have been saying no CoStar, but I just like to keep, I just like to use it to keep track of mine and my friends' charts. And also I realize you can hear the fan. It's too hot for me not to have the fan going, I'm sorry. But if you're curious, my Scorpio rising is in my first house, my Pisces moon is in my fourth house, and my Libra sun is in my 12th house. I like astrology. I'm very much, um, I'm not so, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I think it's a, I think it's very interesting. And I would like to learn more about it. It's just a lot of information <laughs> to take in, it seems like. Oh, um, I am using the, I'm using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which I have used quite a bit of, and uh, a BH Cosmetics kind of like, fluffy brush, but I need to pick another question. One, roll the dice. Five, favorite TV show. I have a few um, favorite TV shows. The first one that comes to mind is Supernatural. I'm a Dean girl, in case anyone is curious who watches the show. I actually have a picture of when I got to do a, like a literal half a second photo with Jensen Ackles, and it was everything to me. So I love Supernatural. I'm actually in the middle of watching it. Um, I really like, I haven't watched it, rewatched it in a hot minute, but I like Breaking Bad. That's a phenomenal show. What else? I like a lot of trash reality TV too. Like one of my absolute favorites is Are You The One? <laughs> I like um, unsolved, I like documentaries, like TV series, like limited series documentaries. I think those are really good. Like um, Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix. I think that's really well done. Although I know I, a lot of people, myself included, should be a lot more discerning about true crime because a lot of the times they don't consult the families and that's not good. What else, what else? I liked Forensic Files as a kid. Loved Forensic Files as a kid. Um, I try to watch it now, but I, I don't know why. It's not holding my attention now. Um, was that too much bronzer? It might've been, that's okay. Too Cute, that's a great show. Uh, too Cute is on Animal Planet, and that's the, you literally just watch litters of puppies and kittens grow up. I don't know what could possibly be any better. <laughs> Those are just a few. I know that there's more, I just can't think of them at the moment. Charmed used to rewatch Charmed all the time. Not the new one, not the new one. The OG one with Holly Marie Combs and 
um, Shannon Doherty, Dorothy, Doherty, and um, Rose McGowan, and what's her name? Alyssa Milano, Alyssa Milano. Stranger Things, Stranger Things, I love Stranger Things. I am an Eddie stan, I'm not that kind of Eddie stan. <laughs> But I do, Eddie was a good, I liked Eddie a lot. I think he was a good character. Was. <laughs> We're watching Bar Rescue with John Taffer with my partner. And that's been an interesting experience. It's like the one, it's like the only reality, reality TV he'll watch, so. All right, for blush, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Flirt Alert Pressed Powder Blush. This was in their previous Valentine's Day collection. And I'm going to be using an e.l.f. blush brush to apply it. But first we roll, generate. Three, this or that. Nope, nope, it's who is she? Four, Enneagram. I think I was a nine, nine, nine. Or a nine. My Enneagram is nine. The Adaptive Peacemaker. I don't know a ton about Enneagrams. I kind of just thought it'd be, that'd be like an interesting one to put in if people are more into that, but my number nine. Adaptive Peacemaker. Now I'm using my finger to apply this uh, ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Flexitarian. I'm gonna be applying that to my cheekbones and my the tip of my nose. First we generate. Three, who is she? Five, love language. This one is a little bit harder for me because I feel like I always said that my love languages were physical touch and quality time. That's what I always thought it was. And I feel like that's definitely still accurate to an extent, but it's, I feel like my love language changes with like my partner and my friends. I know for a fact it's not acts of service or gift giving, although I do enjoy giving gifts, but I don't necessarily, like I, I like getting I like getting gifts, but it's not like my love language, I wouldn't say. Like I don't need to get gifts to feel validated necessarily. Not that that's a bad thing, but some people that's their love language, but it's just I don't think it's mine. I don't sometimes I'm leaning more words of affirmation and physical touch. I don't know. I feel like I need to like really because when I take the test, it's always, you know, it's like you can kind of skew the answers one way or another based on what you think. It's not that hard to do that with the test. Not that like I would like lie through them, but like you, it's harder, I feel like, to be honest when you know what the results can, what your results gonna look like. So I put way too much on this side. Oh, Jesus, Lord have mercy. I think I need to retake it and just really sit with the questions and be like, do I really, is this really what I prefer over this or is it the other way around? Realistically. But for now, I think I'm gonna say words of affirmation and physical touch. We will always and forever be a stripe of highlighter girly. For eyebrows, I have the NYX Fluff and Fill at Espresso. I have very little left. Needs to get used up though. I'm just going to, I'll zip you in a little bit. Kind of squat a little bit, scoot down just a touch. You don't need to see that well because this is mostly about the questions than the makeup. Let us regenerate. Two, this or that. Eight, keep a trip spontaneous or write an itinerary. Well, here's the thing, I don't, love just winging things. I feel like I'm definitely a planner. I definitely would like to know what's going on. I don't need everything planned to like the detail necessarily, but I'm de I'm also just not like, yeah, let's just go do this randomly, like 90% of the time. Like maybe sometimes if I'm in a specific mood, but more often than not, no. But I'm also not someone who likes to plan out the entire, like, I'm not someone who, when I go on a trip, I'm like going from 8 a.m. to like 9 p.m. Like planned out with like tours, we're stop here for lunch, and anything like that. Like, <laughs> I definitely, if I'm going, like I want to see the sights and take it as much as I can. If I'm pushing myself every single day for however, like 12 plus hours at a time, I'm gonna be miserable and I'm not really gonna enjoy what I'm seeing, you know? It's gonna be so annoying. Happy medium, I guess. Cause I wouldn't just like, Say for example, like I wouldn't shove off to like Spain or whatever without some sort of plan of like, where am I staying? What's something that we can do that I can maybe book for us or someone else might book or whatever. What is 
certain rules in that country. I need to have this specific thing for an out, like I need to get this type of plug because I know like different countries have different types of plugs and outlets and stuff like that. Like I need, I do need to know those things and like exchanging money for whatever the, or I guess ex like exchanging currencies, I guess. Um, and what I need, what the process is for that. Again, what is there to do? What can we book? Where are we staying? Let's book where we're staying so it's guaranteed. Like, I guess I would lean more itinerary. Kind of listening to myself talk, like I would just, I would just never like, we're going to go to Ireland, see what happens, let's see, let's see what there is to see. I guess I would, ne I would just would never do that. I'm much too anxious of a person. And also I need to, if I'm gonna be doing something like that, then I definitely need to like, charge up for it. If it's something like, let's go camping, or like, I don't camp, <laughs> I'm real with myself. Um, if it's something like, let's go to, I live in California, um, let's go to like San Diego for the weekend. I might be a little more lenient on that. So I guess it like really depends on where we're going. Odds are I'm gonna wanna do an itinerary and like plan it out rather than just go. I think that aligns more with who I am as a person. This is kind of kind of this is gonna come off pretty much right after so I don't think I'm gonna set my eyebrows Even though I have a brow setter here. I don't think I'm gonna set them I'm gonna prime my eyes with a white base that I haven't used in a really long time, but it needs to get used um, I'm not Ooh, that is Separated to high heaven put it on my eyes anyway I'm not gonna say the brand of the eye primer because I think this brand is um not good like in terms of like accountability and i think that they've done some shady things so i'm not gonna say who it is i'm not doing i'm not doing a question for this because this will just take two seconds and for eyeshadow i might do depending on what question i get when i roll i might do a couple questions for that one um just depending on how long it takes like you know eyeshadow takes a hot minute as like one step what am i Hello? Did someone tell me why I blended this out to my temple? <laughs> oh, I already fucked all that up. That's phenomenal. Good job. Good job, Emma. That part's just gonna be a little bit messed up, but we're just gonna put eyeshadow over it and we're gonna ignore it. If I if I get like a what's your favorite thing, and it's like my favorite color or whatever, because that is one of the questions, it's not gonna be very interesting. So depending on what I get, we might do a couple questions. For the eyeshadow, which is going to be from the That's Taupe palette from ColourPop. Got some beautiful cool tones in there. And I'm going to start with Pebble Beach on a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna run that through my crease and under my eye. But before I do that, we get a question going. Four, four. Do you believe in aliens? Maybe I'll do a question for just every step of my makeup or of my, I'm doing that. <laughs> for every step of my eyeshadow, I mean. Do I believe in aliens? I believe in aliens to the extent that I highly doubt we're alone in the world, or in the world, <laughs> and um, in the universe. It just seems weird that we would be the only sort of intelligent life forms in the entirety of the universe. Sounds kind of terrifying if that turned out to be true. So, but do I think they've been to Earth? I haven't seen anything that convinces me enough that I've been like, yep, for sure, for sure they've been here, absolutely. Like, I know that, um, I forget, the government, I forget who it was, NASA, I don't remember, came out and was just like, yeah, aliens have been here, bro. Aliens are real, we got shit. I know that they've done that, but I have not done a single bit of looking into that at all. Just because I had my, I got my own life stuff going on and I don't, like, like honestly, as cool as it would be to be like, oh my God, aliens, there's just so much going on that like, do we even, do we realistically have the time to humor aliens? Like, let's be honest with ourselves. There's so much going on with our planet and it's possible very soon death that we caused or restart at the very least. And you want to talk about what's out there. Like, you know, space exploration and astrology or astronomy don't come for me all that is very like amazing and incredible if we don't have a planet to explore from it's the exploring's not going to go very well i'm just taking that same shade and running it under my eyes on my lower lash line really just kind of blowing it out making it kind of messy that is what i think i guess kind of a boring stance on aliens <laughs> No, like, that is not real at all, period. But also, like, I don't, I don't think they've been here. 
at the very, like, I just, again, have to look into the recent announcements about aliens, but as of this moment in time where I'm filming, I don't think so. So, for my next trick, step, I'm going to take, the, that brush was a Morphe brush that I just used, and now I'm going to take this um, other Morphe brush, this M321 brush, very small, and I'm going to dip into, I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna go into rock steady, this one down here, this really like gray brown, and just put it on my outer corners. But I need to get a question going first. Or category two, this or that. Three. Coffee or tea? This one's a pretty easy answer. Um, tea. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. I don't like it. Some people might find that very immature of me. I don't care. I don't like the taste. You can put as much sugar and milk and other stuff in it as you want. I can't stand the taste of coffee. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I love chai tea in the morning. It's chai, knowing that I'm gonna be drinking chai tea in the morning is what honestly helps me get through the morning and be okay with waking up because it's one of my favorite things. I drink the Tazo and I put lactate 2% in it and I very much like it. There's a fly in here. That's fun. I kind of do need to speed this up because I'm at 27 minutes left, so I'm just gonna take a thin angled Morphe brush and run that same shade rock steady on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna blend it out with the same brush I used to apply the transition shade. I am going to use my finger to, if it's still usable, apply this slated shade on my lid. It's like a one of the super shock, super shock formulas. Let's get a question going. Three, who is she? Nine. What do you like to collect? I put this in here. Oh, it's a very nice super shock shade. Still nice and moist. Because I feel like you can learn a lot from a person if A, they like to collect things and B, what they collect. Um, I like to collect makeup, which I know is not great, but I love like stuff like eyeshadow palettes and highlighters. It just makes me happy, I apologize. I like to collect body care because I like all the different scents that I need. I haven't been purchasing as much for my own personal reasons and finance reasons and also I real like as much as I love to collect it realistically. It's not necessary and can be a waste. Um, I like to collect blind box figurines like Pop Mart and um, other stuff like that. I liked, to collect, I liked to collect American Girl dolls when I was a kid. I think up until I was about 16. I liked that, I liked to collect those. I used to like to collect books a lot and stuffed animals. Stuffed animals I was really little, books up until I think college, maybe a little before. So now makeup, body care, blind boxes, uh, Animal Crossing amiibo cards. I like to collect those, those are really fun. I think that covers the main ones. Do with that information what you will. And now I'm gonna take the Super Shock Highlighter MJ. I'm gonna take this one in Super Shock, ColourPop Super, Sh Super Shock Cheek and Seismic and put that on my brow bone and my inner corners. I'm just gonna do that really quick because I'm running out of pain. Well, you know, actually, you know what? I'll get a question going. It's my last eyeshadow step. Four, deep and juicy. Four, already did that. One, what is the cringiest thing you've ever put on social media? Maybe, I mean, when I was younger, I did post videos of my American Girl doll collection and opening them and stuff like that. Maybe, I don't know, I don't think we should consider likes to be cringy personally, but someone might find that cringy. I, in high school, I posted like a, one of those like, like pictures on Instagram. I, I did post like the cryptic Facebook, like I'm in a bad mood or I'm upset and stuff like that. I did post that stuff, like a status is, a, I have a big announcement, damn me to find out what it is and stuff like that. So sorry if I'm gonna look a little different. I just deleted footage. I have to like hunch over cause well, we'll fix the framing later. Um, I just had to delete a little bit of footage cause I was almost out of space on my camera. I am going to just do my eyeliner. I'm going to be using a liquid eyeliner from Seasons. It's a lovely band. 
that I listen to. It's a girl group indie band. There, you should look them up on TikTok and Instagram and Spotify. Um, I'm just gonna do a line across my upper lash line, and when I come back, we'll get a question going. Cause I can't, I can't talk and do it at the same time, but I'm not gonna do like a wing or anything. I just did my upper lash line. I'm gonna get a question going. Hopefully it's a short one that I can just answer really quick. Oh yeah, let's do that. Four, scary movies or comedy movies? Scary movies, as we know. Um, although I do like a good comedy, um, it's just not a genre that I necessarily gravitate towards. It's my partner's favorite, but it's not mine. I don't really know why. Not into it. For setting spray, I'm gonna be using the Joa Selfie Ready Matte Setting Spray, just because I don't think I've ever used it. <laughs> Get another question for the setting spray. I don't know why I put setting spray on when I know I'm gonna take this off. Four, two, what's one thing you wish you could change about yourself? I wish I cared less about what people thought. I definitely think I care less than when I was younger, um, just because I've gotten older and as you get older, you care a lot less about how people perceive you. Um, but I still really struggle with really making sure that I never appear to do anything like, well, it's not that I want people to think that I'm perfect because I'm not and that's like nobody is, but I still like, God forbid I ever do anything wrong in my eyes because I have issues with forgiving myself. <laughs> um, I guess we're getting a little deep. So I wish I just cared less about what people think and also I guess I would just have an easier time forgiving myself if for whatever reason that perception was not how I wanted it to be and understanding that also what people think of me is none of my business. And I can only, if I make a mistake, all I can truly do is own it, um, learn from it, and do what I can to make amends. And if that person doesn't want to make amends, then it just is what it is. <laughs> for, so I'm going to curl my lashes really quickly. This is a Tweezerman um, curler in case you're curious. And I'm going to be using the Seasons Mascara. And while I will pull up a question for while I apply that. One, favorites. Nine. Favorite place I've been to. Italy. I went to Italy with my mom as an undergraduate, undergraduate graduation gift. <laughs> graduation gift for completing my undergrad at college. Um, I was an undergraduate in film studies, in case anyone was curious. It was so fun, and I learned so much, and that's kind of where, like, my mom had, like, individual, like, guided tours, not individual as in, like, me away from my mom, but, like, tours for just us during, like, the mornings and early afternoon, but after that, our evenings would just be ours to like relax, maybe just like eat some good authentic Italian food, maybe go to a museum if we were feeling it. I know for the first couple days we just kind of chose to sleep, which I know might be frowned upon by some people, I understand that, but jet lag is real. And when you have, my mom doesn't like flying either, so when you have two ladies that are on a plane for eight hours who are, do not want to be there <laughs> on the plane, again I know it's a privilege, but that kind of takes it out of you with the jet lag, so. But once we adjusted, you know, we just like enjoyed the fact that we were, you know, in Italy and took in the wonderful experience that was that country, which is a very beautiful country. I got to see my favorite Renaissance painting, which was the Birth of Venus. It was really, really cool. Um, got to see David, which was really cool. Pompeii, which was sick. My favorite place was probably Capri, which is like a little island kind of off of Naples, and that was absolutely stunning. Their big thing was lemons, and I love lemons and lemonade and everything. Well, lemonade I don't drink as much just because it makes me really thirsty, but I love lemon flavored things and like citrusy things, and even like lemon, like lemon and citrusy, like body care and everything, perfumes. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and zoom you guys out for the lips. So for lip liner, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Cool BFF. And get a question going that I'll answer after. This or that? 10. Shower or bath? I'll let you know in just a second. Loved me a cool tone lip. Hello, fly. 
Um, shower or baths? I think showers. Um, I am someone who does enjoy a good bath. I like, you know, like Epsom salt and like CBD baths because I have really bad back and shoulders from a minor injury in college, which I can get into another time. Um, and so I like to soak those in like a hot bath with, like I said, CBD and Epsom salt and everything like that. But showers are where I really, you know, after a shower I feel good, I feel clean, um, and I can do an entire, you know, body care routine in the shower, which for me is shampoo, conditioner, and while the conditioner sets, we, uh, I use a charcoal underarm scrub from Pacifica, and then a lip scrub, and then a body scrub, and then I wash out the conditioner, put in a hair mask, and once I put in the hair mask, while I let that sit, I shave, I will use a bar soap, and then a, either like a shower gel or body wash, and then if it's at night, I will wash my face, and then I'll wash out the hair mask and get out. And I love doing my routine. That's always so fun. I like doing that. So I prefer showers, but I do love a good bath. And for my last step, I'm going to apply the ColourPop at Animal Crossing um, Incomparable Lip Crown. Looks like that. Question going. This will be our last question. And it will be an in depth, juicy four. Or you did it. Six. What would your younger self not believe about you today? My younger self would not believe that I am bi, that I am bi, not believe that. She wouldn't believe that I lived out in Cal, I live out in California now. <laughs> she, I think also wouldn't believe that from being totally transparent, I made it this far in terms of being alive. <laughs> she would not believe that, but I, you know what? Of all the things she would not believe about me, I hope that she would at least, you know, she would hear these things be like, the, okay, sure. But one, she would eventually believe them. I hope she would be proud of me. Yes, that is it for today's video. I'm so happy to be back. Again, I'm gonna try to aim for once a week on videos. I'm gonna do my best with that. That might change once I get a job, you know, life circumstances, we'll just see. But that is what I'm aiming for. So yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.